Good evening, uh, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, and Council. California is at the tip of the spear. What happens here is going to spread throughout the nation. You can either be part of against SB 54 or for it, but I can guarantee you, if you're against SB 54, we will overcome. This cancer, again, will spread throughout the United States. We are at the tip of the spear. Just a little uh, something, I don't know, it hadn't been spoke to uh, this evening, but do you know that over 62,000 Americans have died at the hands of illegal aliens since 9-11? That's more than Vietnam. What are we talking about here? We are being invaded. This is an invasion by illegal aliens and people in our state government that have an agenda. Their agenda is to lock in the supermajority forever. That's what we're looking at. Kevin DeLeon, believe me, I've, been, I've seen him in action. I know what's going on. They want to lock in the supermajority along with Eric Holder, who also helped him with SB 54. So, this is an evil administration, folks. This is an evil administration. And I repeat myself like our president, because I think I want to get that point across. <laughs> Two in 15 illegal aliens that cross the border have skills. What are we going to do with 13 of them that don't? <laughs> this is significant. They're being pushed across, by the way. It's, it's an agenda. It's all agenda driven. And you have to know this. You have to know this. I cannot believe that this council would not know this. And all the other councils that do know it are voting in favor of going against SB 54. Yep. Yep. You start looking at it and you name them. Could those councils be wrong and you right? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. you got some astute individuals, and I've heard an attorney even say, we have a good case. We can beat them. That's what I've heard. And I would, I would also uh, encourage you to call Congressman Ken Buck of Colorado. He, he went to Latin America, Central America to be precise and spoke to the experts on drugs over there. Sanctuary policies are leading to an increase in heroin in Denver, and Denver is now a hub for five to six state regions. That will be coming here. You will start seeing no-go zones very quickly. Thank you. 